hello, you're all becoming quite expert now at your maths. So before we start, we're just going to warm up our brains and we're going to start with going backwards. So I want you to count from 17 to 12. Are you ready? Go. Brilliant. And forwards now. Can you count forwards from zero to eight? Brilliant. Again, so, so good at that. Okay, so it's important that we know how to count forwards and count backwards for the today's topic. So we are going to understand and complete plus and take away number sentences. So we have addition and subtraction. They're other words for plus, adding, addition, take away, subtraction. So when we're doing this type of number sentence, we're adding, we're putting more, we're combining two groups. When we're doing subtraction, the take away, we're having less. The answer will be less. So let's give you an example. The first number sentence we're going to do is this one. Is it adding or subtraction? Let's have a look. It's an adding, isn't it? So we need to add this number with this number. Let's see how we do that. Okay. Add in. I'm going to have two dots for the two and four dots for the four. Let's add these together. One, two, three, four, five, six. So what is our answer? That's great, it's six. So our answer is six. Two add four equals six. Brilliant. Let's do another one. Okay. What sort of number sentence is this? Is it an addition number sentence or a subtraction number sentence? Yeah, you can see, can't you? It's a subtraction. So, this means we need to take away. We need to take something away from something. So the number sentence is five take away two equals so how many objects would I need? Five. One, two, three, four, five. How many am I taking away? Five, take away. Two equals three. Great job, everybody. You're getting very good. So now we've done one adding and one take away. What's this? Brilliant, this is an addition, this is adding isn't it? We're adding these two numbers together. So the number sentence says seven add two equals. So I have seven and I'm going to add two. So I'm going to do dots, but I don't need to do the dots for the seven because I know seven. So I'm going to do two dots for the adding on. So I've got seven in my head, seven, eight, nine. So seven, adding the two dots is nine. That's a different way of doing an adding sentence. Okay. 
another one. Okay, so eight take away two equals, yeah, it's a subtraction, it's a take away. So the question was, the number sentence was eight take away two. So we're going to use our number track for this. We're going to start at what number? Brilliant. Starting at number eight. And we're going to take away two. So do we need to go forwards or backwards? Great job, because we're taking away. So eight, take away two. So we're going to go eight, two jumps, seven, six. See, we jumped twice backwards. Eight, take away two, two equals six. That's the answer of this subtraction. Here's another one. Is this adding, addition, or subtraction? Brilliant, it's adding. So the number sentence says 10 plus 1 equals. So I'm going to use my number line. What number do I start on if I'm using my number track? Great, I start at number 10, don't I? 10. 10 adds 1. But there isn't another 1 on my table after that. But I need to go down to the next line, don't I? So 10 and 1 is 11. Great, 10 and 1 equals 11. Can I do one more? Let's have a look at this one. Adding or subtraction? Hmm. Adding. Okay, 6 and 1. Now I'm not going to use my number track. I'm not going to do dots. I'm going to use my fingers. So, I have six and I'm going to add one. Six, one, two, three, six, add one is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. My answer is seven. So we've done lots of adding and subtracting number sentences and we've learned how to do them in different ways. Great job everybody, keep practising your adding and subtracting. See you next time.